Hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys something that comes around every now and again. It's an idea that is so random, and so weird, and so awesome, that I can't help but show it off. And today's video is a map called The Challenge, but that title is probably the worst title that I've ever heard in my life, so there'll be a different title in the title of this video that should actually be the real title for this challenge. Yeah, I think I've said challenge enough times. But anyways, the whole idea behind this challenge is that you basically need to survive and thrive in a landscape where you are in an area filled with leaves and wood, and that's it. If you go down two layers from the wood itself here, then you get yourself a bedrock layer. So that's pretty much it. This is the land that you have to exist in. So naturally, I want to burn it all to the ground, but that's not what we're here to do today. We're here to show off everything, so let's go ahead and let's do that here. So anyways... Basically, the way that this works, if you go ahead and you check out the massive challenge books that the guy has put in here, uh, if you go ahead and you check this out here, there's a couple of missions that I won't be going through in this video or anything like that. But uh, yeah, those are the challenges nonetheless, and here's how you get started with these challenges. So Bob on the left here is fundamentally useless. You can get some water and lava from him for, for prismarine crystals. I think my game sounds are really low. Yep, there we go. But anyways... Frank over here is the real winner. So what you need to do is you need to get yourself 16 oak saplings and 32 pieces of wood in order to get yourself a pair of shears. So naturally you can get that from everything that we have in this area here. And then once you get yourself a pair of shears, you can actually get yourself straight up oak leaves and then you can trade eight oak leaves, which will not take very long to get for dirt. But obviously the shears are going to wear themselves out pretty quickly. So you're going to have to get a lot of this stuff. So it's important to start, you know, getting good tools to get this stuff. But but anyways, from there on, you can trade up your dirt for cobblestone, cobblestone for gravel, gravel for sand, and then your gravel and string if you wind up encountering spiders and whatnot, which you're going to have to create farms for. You can get iron for that, and then you can take two oak leaves and make string. That'll help you get like a bow and a fishing rod if you would like, and then you can trade up a whole bunch of gravel for those prismarine crystals to get water and lava buckets. So, of course, there's just a really, really giant like growth path with this map. And then you can trade two prismarine crystals for emeralds, trade up your gravel for diamonds, uh, which will be really useful, sand for string to get redstone, which I don't think is that useful, sand for string for gold, not really that useful, and then two emeralds for villager spawn. So if you want to spawn up some villagers and have better trades for other things that you could not otherwise obtain on this map because, you know, you can't mine them up and you can't find them, then you can go ahead and you can do that and get a whole bunch of villagers and whatnot. So anyways, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate the idea of getting a whole bunch of oak wood and a whole bunch of oak saplings so that we can try this out for ourselves. Um, what's actually funny is one of the rules for this map is to pretty much not cheat. And yet the map spawns you on creative mode. I downloaded this map just like anyone else would be able to and I'm on creative mode. And if I try and switch myself over to game mode zero, then it won't actually work. It just basically is like this. So you have to go like this, open the land, you know, not use cheats. And then you can g go ahead and do that. So very, very silly, very basic fail from the map creator. So yeah. Anyways, let's go and let's give ourselves a whole bunch of wood. So oak wood here. Let's go ahead and let's do one, two, three, four, five. And then the saplings. Let's go, uh, saplings, there we go, we can do seven, eight, and nine, bam, okay, there we go, dude, I am, I am ready for all, all the shears, yeah, okay, bam, we can go ahead and we can do that, bam, get ourselves four more shears, and then we can go ahead and we can toss ourselves onto survival mode, and this would be pretty much how you would get your main currency, it's just like this, yeah, it's, it's really rather silly, but it's kind of hilarious, and, uh, yeah, so this is how you would get your main currency. Bam, I've got a whole bunch of oak leaves already. So then from here, we can go and we can trade them up. Bam, just give ourselves all the dirt, okay? Eight pieces of dirt. And then we could trade those eight pieces of dirt up for cobblestone. So then there's no, like, trade degradation here because I'm not trading one, uh, two pieces of cobblestone for one gravel or whatever. So we can just trade them all up, you know, just bam. So I think next, let's see, yeah, I could, I could use string. Yeah, there's just, there's all sorts of random things that we could do here. It's, it's really rather silly. But what I think the ultimate goal for this map is going to be, I think everyone might guess it, is to create a flint and steel because you can do that. You can get gravel on this game or on this map and you can also get iron, which means you can get flint and steel. So the, the true, the true thing that you need to be doing here is you need to set, is you need to go into game rule and then you need to set your random tick speed to be 1000 and then you need to go bam and then then we need to set, we need to set 
set everything on fire. That's that's what this that's what this map is really about. It's about fire. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna set all the things on fire here, and it's all going to burn very very fast because oh, it uh, looks like we're burning. We're are we burnt? The villagers are not gonna move. That's amazing. That's great. Okay, you could I could probably punch Bob here. Oh man, is could could Bob actually die? I don't think so. They probably have the invulnerable tag. But anyways, yeah. This is, this is what this map's really about. It's about burning everything. Now, I'm guessing that this uses the super flat uh, ability to spawn world maps because that is just how it works. So it uses super flat. And uh, yeah, I'm guessing that this world would spawn like this forever and ever and ever and ever. So yeah, this won't burn forever, but it'll burn for a while. So this is a thing. Dude, I, I am so malicious in my ways with Minecraft. I'm just throwing that out there. So again, this shouldn't burn forever, but it will. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you guys something that was so incredibly silly that it just needed to be shown off in a video. I hope you all have enjoyed this random silly little video. My name is Antvenom, and I bid you all farewell, Bob and Frank, aka Bob Treoris and Frank Treoris. Yeah, I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>